this one turns out so I have a little eyeshadow slash lipstick palette I suppose you could just say five then because this is because I'm just using the brush but it is two more products it's two products in one but anyway there's this little eyeshadow and lipstick palette um this is what I'm gonna be using to apply the lipstick with there is some extra super lash um mascara this is at my nan so she doesn't have much makeup I'm going to be using this kit, I'm not too sure what it is, but I'm going to be using it to contour and highlight. This didn't go everywhere. Using this to contour and highlight. Um, I have a stain up hand which will be me mattifying my face with before I apply makeup. And I've just got some Nivea Soft um, Moisturising Cream. So, without further ado, I hope you guys like this video. And I'm not. I'm going to stop rambling about what I'm using and how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to use the mirror. And yeah, let's hop straight into the video. So I'm going to start by applying my this, the moisturiser to my face. I'm going to dot here, dot here, dot here, dot here, dot here. Um, dot here. Uh, Kino, Kino, just move that in. This is basically going to be my foundation. My nan does a foundation that she uses. I don't use it. I can't even expect that one. Fucking or double wear. So I'm not going to be using that. Oh, I have cheated into my eyebrows, but uh, they've been doing since this morning. And I was rushing around going to school to wake up. And I only had half an hour to get ready and eat breakfast. It was trauma. Um, I woke up late. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was back to school today for the first day. It wasn't the greatest. Um, so now I'm going to start off by mattifying my face with the Stay Matte Press Powder by Rimmel. And that is that. So, I'm going to come a little closer if I can. No, no, there we go. So bad, that's just not any background noise. Anyway, like I said, yeah, get closer. So now I'm just going to be applying this with my fingers. Because my hands didn't have any brushes either. I'm always going to be applying my fingers. Even from the contour and highlight. Don't mind highlight, but the contour's going to be hard. So, I'm just going to powder my forehead to start with. That's a bit of colour as well, because it's pale. And then my cheeks. Check this all right in the mirror behind there because I can't actually see that one in there. Camera on this. Uh, I think I'm all the same colour. Put a bit more, quite a bit into my eye. And eye. See the difference? And it's matte. Oh wow, I need to put it on my eye to prime my eye for the eye for So, I'm just gonna run around and check that. I'm just checking, don't worry. Uh, I'm not going to put more. Apart from that, which is pretty equal. Okay, sorry, I'll be running around. That's actually fine. So now I'm going to apply the contour and highlights. Ignore background lights, just my cousin's getting in the back. Where was I? Um, yeah, contour and highlight. I'm going to get my knees and compose it to you now. Uh, get a pillow. Nothing in this room. Just about to lean. So I'm going to start off by contouring. Oh shit. Oh, actually, pretty good contour. Let me just go around and check. Right, I've decided I'm going to go around there and do this because it's just better. 
But you can still see me and hear all the background noise, so you'll be able to hear me. So. Uh, I'm just applying this in the mirror to my cheek. Um, might only be over here for contour. The highlight I can do in that because highlight's easier. Contour needs to get on point. Especially for really even fingers. This is a no brush and only limited makeup tutorial on how to get good makeup. As I said, she does have a Miranda Zulu foundation. I can't bother to use it because it's really expensive. Use my inner hand now to blend that. to my camera and do my highlight oh my god look at that yes highlight on point oh, i'm not sure i'll be able to do it around here oh i keep having to go back around here right back round to here oh that's Quite nice shimmery highlight. Quite nice shimmery highlight. That. Not very pigmented. I made a big deal out of it, but it is not very pigmented on my face. So it's clean and dry. I can see it as well. It's really light, bright, and stuff. Oh no, that's on you because that's what highlight is supposed to be on. But you know what I mean, like. See my nose and my forehead, and then my cheekbone, and highlight them. I'm just gonna start my eyebrows. I got eyebrows sorted out. Right, I can do eyeshadow without that big mirror. So now moving on to eyeshadow, I'm gonna start with the base layer. Right my eye, face layer, this layer, apply that to my eye, and then I'm going to use this light purple, that light purple, I like purple in there, this is going to look like this, apply to my lid as well, I don't like that using the brush, because that's how I have all my brushes, and different makeup and good makeup kind of thing, no offence now, but your makeup's a bit mad. I'm gonna blend that out. I'll put a dark purple on now. Out of that palette. I'll just put an arrow point to it because I can't be bothered to show you. That sounds really bad. I just really can't be bothered. I could burn off trying to do it with a really kind of bad kind of mirror thing. Look, I don't want to move away from you. And also bad makeup that blends really badly because my nose is not the best makeup like a millions of times. I think my arm's gonna bring that light purple under my eye. Add some colour under my eye. Uh, that one will be too much. So then, finally, for my eyes, they are done after I've applied 
my Remo London. I received that from my aunt's Remo London. Never used it before, so this is my first time using My god, I haven't used a lot of these before, have I? It's so hard using a faraway mirror. For like, can or something to do with your makeup. Don't try it. Now I've got to do my bottom lashes with this. Right, let me just come close so you can see what my eyes look like. So, not really super lash, but on my eyes, I just put that on them. Not my eyebrows are really bad, but that's my eyes. So, and then I have my highlight and contour. And the final aspect to this makeup look, which is absolutely fabulous by the way, is lipstick. So I'm just going to get this because I'm not applying lipstick with my fingers, so I'm going to be like, um, You have a choice of colours. I'm going to pick uh, this one, which I'll put an arrow to because I should show. Oh. Hi, Nan. You all right, love? Yeah, I'm doing a video. Yeah. And then I'll apply this to my lips. Sorry about the noise. Oh, they keep still my videos. Apply that to my lips. That is the makeup look finished. It is really bad, but it would do for six products so yeah so that was a very unorganized video with very loud background noises and me having to fidget it around everywhere but i hope you guys enjoyed it um i quite like these casual videos i do yes yeah it's, i'll put it back so i don't know where the lid was um as i was saying um, I hope you guys like this video. I just like these casual kind of videos. I'm going to try and include more of them into my channel because with um, casual videos, it just feels like it's fake to me. Um, anyway, because you're like, yeah, I've got this, and then, yeah, it feels like you have to act different for um, casual videos. Whereas this is just me. This is what I've been doing on a regular basis at my land when I have no other makeup with me. This is literally what I would have to wear without the contour and the highlight. I just found those. I'm pretty sure that I should those because the contour is so big. Um, it doesn't look too bad from far away. Close up, it's not that good. Far away, it looks amazing. That's my eyes and close up. Um, so yeah. I like the casual videos when there has a noisy background, oh. disorganised. Um, so, you know, I I think that I might try and to include these more. Without further ado, I'm just going to say, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to see more of these casual or uncasual, more fake videos. They're not fake, fake. I do put effort into the more uncasual videos, the ones that are more um, put together and organised. This wasn't, this was a little quick video because I had no video ideas and I was at my nan's and I've left literally everything at home. Um, my tripod and everything. So this is filmed on the window ledge. Um, but I hope you guys liked it and if you did, Thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And leave a comment if you want me to do more of these videos. And thumbs up if you want me to do more of these videos. So yeah, bye!